Did you know that murders by serial killers were at their highest between 1970 and 1990? Think about Dahmer, Ramirez, Bundy, Gacy, and many other notorious murderers who managed to escape justice for quite some time, simply because technology was not advanced enough yet to help uncover the culprits faster. But in the 1990s, fingerprints and DNA evidence started to become more and more relevant. But mistakes were still made. And today, we at Curiosity Factor are bringing you such a blunder. This is the story of the Phantom of Heilbronn. Back in 1993, a 62-year-old woman was found dead in her house in the town of Ida Oberstein, strangled by a wire that was taken from a bouquet of flowers. There was no information on what might have happened to the victim, Lars Lutschlenger. There was no witnesses, no suspects, no signs of any sort of suspicious activity. The only thing that police had was a DNA sample from a teacup near the victim. Schlenger's case went cold, and the only lead the police had was that DNA sample which they found belonged to a woman, but there was no match, yet. Eight years later, in 2001, a 61 year old man was then found dead in his kitchen in Freiburg, Germany. Again, just like Schlenger, the victim was strangled and the same DNA was found on a kitchen drawer. Similar methods of killing and an exact match for DNA had the police believing they may have just found a serial killer However, there was still no match for that DNA sample. All that investigators could say for sure is that it belonged to a woman. But, just five short months after the second murder, the DNA started showing up literally everywhere. It showed up on a discarded heroin syringe after a seven-year-old had stepped on it in a playground in Gerolstein. Then, a few weeks later, the same DNA was found on an abandoned cookie in a burgled caravan near Bad Kuznap. It was found again at a break-in in an office in Deitzenbach, then in a stolen car that was abandoned in Heilbronn, and it even showed up on two beer bottles and a glass of wine in a burgled bar in Karlsruhe. Probably the most odd place the woman's DNA was found was on one of the bullets in a case from May 2005, in which a man shot his brother. It was quite baffling, since it was known that the culprit was a man, and yet a woman's DNA was plastered over one of the bullets. The DNA was found across an impressive 40 crime scenes all over Austria, Germany and France, including robberies, armed robberies and murders. Where it got really peculiar was that at those crime scenes, police not only found the woman's DNA, but also other people's DNA who were presumed to be her accomplices. However, it was never the same person twice, and no one would talk about this mysterious woman. This unknown female serial killer soon became the woman without a face, but later on would take the name of the Phantom of Heilbronn, following the death of a police officer in the city with the same name. Officer Michelle Kaiserwetter was in her patrol car with her colleague when two people climbed in the back seat and shot both officers in the back, killing her and injuring her partner. DNA of the same woman was found on both the back seat and the dashboard. Baffled by this mysterious criminal, the police put up a €300,000 reward for any information about her whereabouts. In 2009, all this chase for the Phantom of Heilbronn would finally come to an embarrassing conclusion. The most notorious serial killer in Germany's history didn't exist. It all unfolded when the police in France had discovered the burned body of a man whom they believed was an asylum seeker that went missing in 2002. During his application for said asylum, the man had to submit his fingerprints, which then were used to try and confirm his identity when he was found dead. But once again, the police found the DNA of the Phantom. It seemed like an impossible thing, since the Phantom's DNA was known to belong to a woman, but the dead person the police was investigating was a man. So, police set up to test the man's DNA once more, and sure enough, they found that the Phantom's DNA was not there. The man's death led to an explanation of the case. There was no serial killer, and the DNA could be traced to a woman working in a packing centre specialising in medical supplies. It was all down to DNA contamination. Just like Shaggy following his own footprints in Scooby-Doo, the police had spent the better part of 16 years trying to track down a serial killer that never existed. So yeah, if you ever feel silly for pulling on a door that says push, remember the case of the Phantom of Heilbronn. What did you think of this case? Have you heard any other similar stories? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. 
And if you enjoy this type of content and want to learn more weird, strange and fun facts, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon. Thanks for watching and we will see you again in our next video.